he has come under fire for his comments on Tina Turner on how she's not what people think she is. To him, Tina Turner pulled the victim card and played it well. To him, Ike Turner was clean-hearted, she molded and helped reach the heights she was in at the time of her death, and even though he crossed the boundaries sometimes, it was due to the fact that Tina provoked him. While we all have the freedom of opinion, it is always advisable to be mindful and to shun from pointing fingers. Away from this, most of us came to know of him during his time hosting the Judge Joe Brown show. He not only gained popularity across the world, but also won our hearts. He may have his own shortcomings, but we respect and adore him for so many reasons. First, he is not afraid to speak his mind, not matter how uncomfortable it might be. Second, his fair and impartial approach. He always listened to both sides of a case, considered the evidence presented, and delivered judgments based on the law and his understanding of justice. Third, his commanding presence is top-notch. His demeanor and manner of speaking conveyed a sense of authority and professionalism. Finally, his understanding of law was not to be questioned. Many people call him, the walking constitution. Before we dig deep into his allegations, let's have a quick background check of him. James Blakeney Brown Jr. was born on July 5, 1947 in the Crenshaw District of Los Angeles, one of the toughest neighborhoods in LA. He graduated at the top of his class at Dorsey High School, then in 1969 earned a bachelor's degree in political science from the University of California Los Angeles. Coming from a poor background, he had to pay for his tuition for his undergraduate by loading trucks and digging ditches. After campus, he got intrigued by the possibility of a legal career after a close friend recommended that he try out law school. It turned out to be a perfect fit. In no time he earned a year as doctor from the University of California Los Angeles School of Law, where he would work as a substitute teacher too. He then moved to Memphis, Tennessee to work as an attorney for the Legal Services Corporation. Brown later worked for the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. By 1978, Brown became the first African-American prosecutor in Memphis, and he later directed the Memphis Public Defender's Office. As ambitious as he was, he later opened his own law practice before being elected as a judge on the state criminal court of Shelby County, Tennessee in 1990. Brown was thrust into the national spotlight, while presiding over James Earl Ray's last appeal of his conviction for the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. Brown was removed from the reopened investigation of King's murder due to alleged bias. It was during this time that Brown caught the attention of the producers of Judge Judy and in no time, launched his famous show in 1998 which ran through to 2013. The rest is history. Away from that, Brown is twice divorced and has two sons from his first marriage. To sum it up, he says his goal and purpose is to encourage the young generation to become productive members of society, instead of potential inmates who waste away their young lives.